Hey everybody, this is the fourth here, and welcome to another episode of Tip Tuesday. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can easily make your own risers. So this is something that's super simple, but maybe uh, some of you guys out there don't know how to do it or wouldn't think to do it this way. Um, so basically, you can take any sound you want. Uh, it can be a preset, or it can be a sound that you've made, and then just apply a pitch slide to that sound, and you kind of get a riser. So if you use this with a pretty unique sound, a pretty cool sound, you can get some really cool you know, risers. So here's an example. Basically, I used a kind of cool FM talking bass-ish sound with an LFO, and I automated the speed of that LFO and the pitch uh, upwards to kind of create a pretty cool riser. And there are a few other elements in this buildup as well but hopefully this will sound kind of cool to you. Um, so yeah, you know, you can use any sound that you want if you want to kind of make a cool riser that's all your own. And here's how to do it. So basically, just choose whatever sound you want to, and you know, play a long note, however long you want the riser to be. So you know, maybe I want it to be eight bars long. And you can slide it up as many octaves as you want but you do want to make sure that it's a slide note. Um, so here's you know, what it sounds like so far. And I think that sounds pretty cool. Uh, if you want to, if there's uh, something that you can automate on the preset, so maybe the cutoff, or maybe I'll just automate both of these. And I will put the pattern down in the playlist. Um, so, you know, a lot of my presets I make with the some kind of automation available. So in this case, you know, automating it really kind of changes the buildup. Uh, maybe makes it a bit cooler depending on your preferences. And you know, if you want to download some of my presets for Apple Studio, I'll put a link in the description to where you can do that. But you know, the basic idea is just do a pitch slide for as long as you want the riser, uh, and then maybe automate some other things. Maybe you even want to automate the volume. So instead of so instead of starting off right away there, maybe I want to give it a little bit of a fade in uh, with the volume. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Um, you know, the basic idea is just choose whatever sound you think will be cool for a riser. Slide the pitch up an octave or a couple octaves, maybe even more. Um, alternatively, if you would rather, you can always automate the channel pitch or maybe the pitch inside the synthesizer if you're using a third party plugin. But, you know, in some way, get the pitch increasing over time. And then maybe if it works, try automating, you know, some other parameters as well to see what they do. Uh, so yeah, you know, really simple tutorial, but hopefully it helps some of you out and I will see you in the next video. 
Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. If you thought it was helpful, please be sure to leave a like and maybe a comment if you have any questions or requests for future videos. If you're new to the channel, I encourage you to subscribe and have a look around. I've already uploaded a bunch of tutorials and I try to release new ones every week.